Hey Aries, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. So during your pre-show, what was looking like you was not very happy about your career and finances. But what I've been finding out was the pattern between the pre-shuffle and the main spread is that typically um, what I get in the pre-shuffle is like past energy. And then coming into that main spread, most of the time all reversals are in the upright. Like uh, things have had time to transform in between that pre-shuffle and that uh main spread so let's hope the same thing for you because it was looking like you was really unhappy at a job or really unhappy with your choice of career sometimes it just happens you know we do something for some so long or you know and sometimes it, it people's level or people's attention span is all different like sometimes it can literally be you know, a couple of years and sometimes it can be 20 years and then suddenly somebody just wants to go into business with themselves. They're totally bored and complacent with their career. They feel like they already capped out on what they want to get paid and that still ain't enough for them. So you was coming up as a queen of pentacles in a reverse in your pre-shuffle. So let's hope you come up upright. Uh, yeah, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups in reverse came out. The temperance in reverse and the three of pentacles. So you definitely still feeling like things are unfair, insincere. Maybe you've been getting promised raises and promotions and nobody is corroborating with this knight of cups. That's insincere energy. So maybe they keep saying, hey, we are going to give you a promotion. But here is your work um, environment with the three of pentacles and your imbalance there. You know, maybe your finances are in balance. Maybe you even feel like you have more going out than you do coming in, you know? So, okay, Aries, finances, career and finances for the first two weeks of September. Sun, moon, and rising. Aries, sun, moon, and rising, finances. <sighs> yeah. You even could be feeling like you're doing the brunt of the work at your job. Wow, you feel like a star. You feel like, why don't they see the potential in me? Because I see it. This could be your boss here. You know? Because he already coming up as the Knight of Cups, being insincere in reverse. And now here is the King of Cups. You know, or maybe this is even a, a higher person. But this person has no regard to anybody else's emotional state or um, stability, you know? It's like he's not even thinking about it. So maybe this is your boss's boss and your boss is going to them like, you know, this person with the four of wands here, you know? This could be you just wanting enough to be stable, enough to pay your rent and, and just not be imbalanced and trying to manifest. For yourself trying to manifest better for yourself so i kind of see that you're still in that same energy from the pre-spread pre ten of pentacles in reverse man oh my god it's like you feel like you losing money working here even maybe you feel like okay i'm spending so much time and i'm doing so much giving so much of my energy i don't even have time to focus on nothing else or even look at look for something else the moon and you just, it's like a mystery to you. You feel like you got a dark cloud over you financially at this time. And the Two of Cups is also in reverse. So you definitely thinking about severing this tie. Definitely thinking about going in your own direction when it comes to your employment at this time. So I definitely want to get some clarifiers because I want to know who this Knight of Cups is and why try to try to dig into why um you know nothing is being done when it comes to shoot so nothing is being done when it comes to st your stability yeah this person promising you and promising you that um you're gonna be getting more pay and you thinking that you're gonna be able to drop your burdens or some of the responsibilities are gonna stop piling up and essentially they're not being sincere with you you know okay let's see uh what else do i want to clarify this king of cups here 
And it's like, you know, you got potential. You still have faith in yourself that you can go the distance, but not at this place. So you're definitely thinking about resigning and looking elsewhere. And you need to be doing more than thinking. You need to be putting that action in motion because at this point, you know, I almost feel like it's messing with your health, you know. It's definitely not messing with your uh, confidence because you still see yourself as the star. You still see yourself as somebody that can rise to success and you still have time to get the wishes, your wishes fulfilled. Why is this King of Cups here for Aries? Finances, sun, moon, and rising for the first two weeks of September. Ooh, okay, let's see here. Yeah, they not really seeing your words. So here you are doing research. You know, you could be taking time to look for another job. Or look for a trade so that you can like make more money somewhere else. The magician was clarified by the three of pentacles. So the three of pentacles is on the board twice. Aries, sun, moon, and rising finances for the first two weeks of September. Ten of pentacles in reverse. What is this? Ten of pentacles in reverse here. But Aries finances, sun, moon, and rising first two weeks of September. Ooh. Yes, you want to be abundant whether you single or not. You want to, you want to, you want to regain your autonomy. You know, you tired of like psyching yourself out. Are you tired of being lied to about this new beginning, you know, and you try not to leave this job, but it's like, okay, they keep telling you wanna, what you want to hear so that you don't walk away. But at this point, you just becoming paranoid. You becoming guarded because you really feel like you're never going to get your Ten of Pentacles. Here's the Ten of Pentacles twice here and, it, and your spread. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is here twice in your spread from two different decks. So, you know, you definitely are feeling like a loss of legacy. You feeling like you can't save up for important things like to send your kids to college or to retire or none of that. Like you just feel like you are lacking stability on all four fronts. I'm feeling even like I said, like you got more going out than you do coming in. You probably have to rob Peter to pay Paul. That could be what that seven in reverse was too. But on top of that, I feel like you're being constantly lied to. So let me definitely get some love oil on my hands. I definitely put some prosperity oil on my hands for y'all's reading. This is Sun's Sun's eye and it's uh, Dove's heart. Got this love oil and then my prosperity oil is by Magical Lady Duchess. Y'all can follow her on YouTube or subscribe to her YouTube channel. I don't know if y'all can see that. I know it's gonna take a minute to. Focus, 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 focus. Anyway, so her name is Magical Lady Duchess. She has a YouTube channel, so. And this prosperity oil is the S H I T. And I wish I had a bigger bottle than this. Because I'll be putting this junk in my hair. I'm probably rubbing my body down with it more than just my palms. Okay. The Aries couples. Sun, moon, and rising. Any messages for Aries couples? Wow, look like you starting something new and passionate. Fun, exciting, and sexy and adventurous. Having a lot of fun with your new love. Okay, Aries couples. Sun, moon, and rising. First two weeks of September. What's going on for Aries couples? <clears throat> this could be... Wow, yeah, it's definitely something new that you took a leap of faith on and you already want to build with this person. You really see the sun shining in the horizon for you too, which shows twice here. Like y'all just facing the sun, facing happiness, wanting to collaborate, come together. Damn, I don't even know if you told this person the, the depths of your emotion. Hopefully you ain't lying to them. Well, it's not that you're lying to them. Maybe you're just not as confident to come through and really tell um, your queen or, you know, king for that matter. Uh, how you feel about them? Because you really feel happy about this with the Ten of Cups here. So maybe, and I can't see this person being out in the cold unless this is, unless this is an ex that's coming back and you rekindling with Aries. 
I can't really see this as an old person. So maybe this is just you going from being quiet to actually speaking what it is that you want to say so that you guys can actually collaborate. So, and I definitely see the chariot in reverse. So you definitely want to move forward in victory with this person. You could be dealing with a cancer so far or an Aries on a, or an Aquarius. Aquarius. Aries or Aquarius. Aries couple, sun, moon, and rising for the first two weeks of September. Yeah, so things are looking good on the forefront of your relationship. You're happy. You just got to say something, King of Swords energy. Or this could be your partner holding back Aries. If you're an Aries female. Aries couple, sun, moon, and rising for the first two weeks of September. Mm -hmm. Two more. Aries couple, sun, moon, and rising. Oh, what was that? Damn. Woo, yes. Y'all not going to be thinking about the bad things that happened in the past. Y'all literally going to focus on the beauty of the future. Whoa, okay. This person definitely is a king of swords, and he just looking at you like, wow, she's still sexy. I still want her, you know. Maybe, it's, maybe he is aware that it's still some healing that needs to take place. But I think you guys are coming up as soulmates too. Because here he is as the king of wands standing right next to you. Looking right in your direction like, damn, I still want her. She is still my star. This came out in reverse, but I'm putting it up in the upright because I have faith that this thing can rekindle. Because you still love this person, Aries. Rather you, the female, take it as it resonate. Either you got an Aries that's love you, that want to come back to you, or, um, yeah, you got an Aries that want to come back to you, or you are the Aries male figure that wants to go back to your Aries queen of wands, or your, not Aries, but they definitely could be a fire sign too. Or like I, like I said, you could be dealing, dealing with Aquarius, or a, another Aries like yourself, or a Cancer. Okay, so, can I definitely find out who this King of Swords is for Aries couples? King of Swords in reverse? Is that just Aries not being able to speak their truth? Yeah, it's somebody that's coming forth with an offer. They just a little scared. So yeah, Aries, that could be you or your partner. Okay, so why is the Five of Pentacles here in reverse? Because that's definitely kind of confusing unless y'all exes or y'all was just people that was talking to each other and it didn't get off the ground and it's something that you just want to revisit. Like, hey, you know, I know we stopped talking, but, you know, I really liked you. And even as I tried to move on or tried to move forward and talk to new people, nobody really compared to you. So, you know, I still think you sexy. You know, I'm still following you on social media. I'll be looking at your pictures like, damn, she's still sexy to me. Maybe I should hit her up and see what she say. And this is after you gain the strength because you literally were scared to approach this Queen of Wands energy. Or maybe you had to break up with somebody to do it. Maybe y'all broke up and now you want to come back out the cold. Yeah, I really do feel like this was an existing relationship that broke up and... Once again, you guys realize the, the love that's here, but you want to focus on the future. Why is the Six of Cups here in reverse? I don't want to focus on the past no more. I'm going to put all that behind you. Okay, why is the Six of Cups here in reverse? For Aries couple, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks. Wow, that's a lot. I guess I'm going to take it. Yeah. Y'all don't want to think about the breakup. Y'all don't want to bring, think about the disconnection. <sighs> Y'all just want to apologize and make up. <laughs> Let go of all the... Hold on. Let go of all of the competition, the conflict. Making a decision to stop, you know, ending things. Like, maybe you guys got a real makeup to break up type of relationship. So you guys are deciding to, you know, stop self-sabotaging this relationship and causing delays in your happiness 
because maybe you guys both had time to go within and seek the fact that um, you guys really do love each other. You guys really do want to build with each other. You guys don't really want to be broken up, you know, or, you know, not in love anymore, not living together anymore, not having sex anymore. So you guys are just starting anew. And everything that went wrong with this, you guys are going to put right, okay? So... That's the most important thing at this time. And so now we're going to get some oracle affirmations and then, I mean, some oracles and affirmations for Aries, couples, sun, moon, and rising. Aries, couples, sun, moon, and rising. Ooh, okay. Vigilance. <laughs> Wow, stone people vigilance. Okay, so maybe you took a period, like I said, to just sit back and really review the situation, look at the bigger picture. But it's saying, you know, coming back together, you guys don't have to spy. You guys don't have to worry. You guys are going to be in harmony. You guys are going to grow. I see a lot of green. You guys are opening up your heart because not only does that mean growth, but it's the representation of heart chakra energy. So, oh, I don't know why I was about to pull more until it was good enough. Okay, so let, let me get an affirmation card for Aries, couples, sun, moon, and rising. I use the power of my mind and my free will to do what I know is right. I trust myself. I am free to say no if something is not best for me. Okay, so I guess this speaks to the Aries that don't want to get back with somebody that they broke up with, you know, or, you know, somebody that they was talking to and decided to leave behind. Can I get one more affirmation card for Aries couples? I like, I let the light of my love shine, okay? Here's what it looks like on this side. And then on the backhand side, it says, I have an infinite supply of love to give. And, more, and the more I give, the more there is to give. So what you put out into the universe definitely comes back. So um, the more love you give, the more love comes back to you. And the more love you have to give out again. So it's just the circle of life. Um, put out what you definitely want to give back. And now we're going to pull a spread for uh, very singles, sun, moon, and rising for the two, first two weeks of September. So, very singles. Very singles, sun, moon, and rising for the first two weeks of September, spirit. Clear, concise messages. single for long it looked like he just recently ran into your counterpart and again he is taking that deep stare at her with the king and queen of pentacles right here you could be dealing with an earth sign looks like this is something that you manifested for yourself maybe you've been calling in your soulmate during this time of being single okay can i get some more messages for aries Sun, moon, and rising. Wow, you got a feeling this one going to be successful. Damn, y'all feeling like Michelle and Obama. Like, I just feel like when y'all go out, y'all turn their heads, yo. For real. What is this? Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, you probably got people hating already. That's what I'm definitely getting from this. Outside people hating, coming to you. Golly, and, and my nose is itching, so I know it's true. But uh, you got people coming up against you, you know, trying to maybe change your mind about the situation, but your heart already set. So, you know, maybe you're not even in a relationship with this person yet, but they trying to tell you it's going to be a waste of your time. Maybe they think that she a gold digger. Maybe they don't think that she can put in the same effort as you or that you're going to see uh, the return on your um investment with this person so the knight of swords is here in reverse so maybe that's why you slow to commit everybody putting their two cents in is freaking burdening you you feel like 
You know, leave y'all freaking opinions to yourself. Like, I was happy about this person before y'all came forward. You know, you feel like you shouldn't even told them nothing. They making you feel like, you know, you're not going to be able to bring this together. Maybe you the type of person who's, look at this. This is meant for you to happen. And this could also be what's leading into that couple's reading too. One more for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I definitely got some stuff I want to clarify here. But this is your counterpart though, okay? You got a chance at a new beginning, okay? Don't let other people cloud your judgment. Because I definitely feel like haters is coming at you. Trying to make it seem like... It looked like you could be strong enough. But then again, you know... Maybe you're going to be strong enough to stand up against these people when it comes to this connection that you seem... It seems like you are. The Four of Pentacles here is indicative of somebody that's holding on. So maybe you're holding on to this connection and releasing the thoughts of other people. Because maybe other people had you all stuck in your head like, damn, can it really come together? Is it going to really go to distance? Can it grow? Is she a gold digger? Is she after me for my money, for my legacy? You know, am I going to lose to her? You know, you got a couple tens here. So maybe you getting out of those thoughts and ideas. Maybe you have got to stop allowing people to hate on you and uh, cloud your judgment with BS. Yes. I feel like there's people you slept with before. Maybe you announced this new relationship or maybe you, maybe you guys aren't even together yet. Maybe you guys went on a first date, you guys took pictures, you had such a good time, you didn't even mind blasting this person. So you got a choice to make. I feel like you're already choosing your past over your present. You're already choosing your Knight of Pentacles energy over this Knight of Wands energy. But that's what people want you to stay. The people that's coming up against you trying to tell you that if this person is not worth getting in a relationship with, that they're going to be a waste of time, you know this person going to make you happy. The people that's trying to tell you that they want you to stay in that energy. So that could definitely be your friends. You was going back and forth in your mind. Now you about to drop that and stop thinking, should I take on this person? Should I take on this new relationship? You could be dealing with a Leo. Everybody got Leos and they reading and we out of Leo season now. This could even happen in Leo season. Okay, so why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is this such a burden? I feel like you just overburdened because maybe you thought your family and friends was going to take your good news and be happy for you and really... You know, they coming at you with, like, they, you should stay single. What's going on? Okay. It's going to be a couple minutes. All right. Y'all, you, you are burdened by everybody else's opinion at this time. It don't be. Go ahead and make the gesture because you know that this is your queen of pentacles. And it's showing twice. Different decks. Twice. Okay, the judgment in reverse. This is people calling your judgment, man. I already know it is, but let me just get a clarifier for this. Why is the judgment in reverse here? Why is the judgment in reverse here? For Aries, singles. Y'all, mm -hmm. yes, sorry. But you about to release yourself from these thoughts and ideas that these people are putting in your head, your friends. Maybe you took time to actually think about it for a while. And you like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not about to listen to what everybody say. I'm about to drop my defenses. They got me being all paranoid about this. I'm about to go ahead and make this offer. You know? You see stability with this person and you passionate about them. Two different aces, two different decks. You feel a strong connection. You feel like this person is your counterpart. Let's check out why this Ten of, oh, of Pentacles is in reverse. Why is this Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, so the Page of Cups came out. So maybe your family, you know, maybe you come from money. You know what I'm saying? So maybe your family is even saying that they're going to cut you off if you make this offer or something like that. You know, but, or maybe you feel like you turning down your legacy, you turning down your fate, you turning down 
a, a situation where you have all that you need if you don't make an offer to this person. So that's what you're going to decide to do. You know, so I'm about to pull y'all a advice oracle and a couple of affirmations and we are gonna wrap this thing up here. Okay, for Aries single, sun, moon, and rising. For Aries single, sun, moon, and rising. Oh, yes. Earth magic. Yes, you know what, it's, honestly, it's time for you to start trusting, it's time for you to start trusting in the miracles of the universe, like, you and this person was brought together for a reason, and you know that, with instinct here, you got wolf-like instincts, so maybe you took a, a period to rest, you know, could have even been spending a lot of time by water, took a vacation, took a retreat, and just sat alone and actually thought about the situation and whether it would be more of a benefit to you or more of a um, hindrance to you. And you figured out that this is something you want to move forward with regardless to what. And you like, I don't care who I lose, you know? If y'all willing to cut me off because... I really want to um, start something new and stable with somebody that I feel a strong connection with, then bye, you know. So can I get a, a couple of affirmation cards for Aries, single? I am willing to see only my magnific magnificence. And that's also speaking to you knowing what you want, you know. Like these people, they see you as somebody that's not capable of making a relationship decision on your own or knowing when you found the one, but you have. I am willing to see only my magnificence. I think and say only what I want to create in my life, which is speaking to the uh, magician as well. Um, I am more than adequate for all I need to do, okay. I accept, I love and accept myself. Look in the mirror and say, I love and accept myself exactly how I am. When I accept all of myself, I am whole and healed. Okay, so I just definitely feel like, you know, you, that's just you. Standing in your own power, standing in your truth, admitting to yourself despite uh, those who oppose your choices, that this is going to be something that's good for you. So it's looking like uh, Aries singles are definitely moving into a stable relationship. So congratulations, Aries, if that's you. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, um, that post notification bell, so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And comment in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Ciao.